Hello people and welcome to a new series of this channel. Um, in this part of the series I'll be talking about gears that I bring to different jobs that I go to and um, today I'm packing to go to Germany because I have a project coming up, um, both photography and filmmaking project, so I'll be talking about the gears that I'll be bringing with me. Um, this particular project is a project that I'll be ha like, I will have to work inside air an airplane, so um, I never actually shoot inside an airplane before, so it'll be interesting how that works. Um, I'll be having a meeting with the client on um, Saturday, and then the following days I'll be pretty much shooting both photography, well, stills and videos for the client. So um, I would like to go into the gears that I'll be bringing with me, in case some of you are also like both photographer and filmmaker, and um, also not knowing what to pack with them. And this is just my setup. I'm not saying that you should be packing the exact same equipment, but um, I hope it will help someone. I'm sorry if the video is really, really checky because I'm packing my tripods and um, my professional camera equipment is actually um, being brought to the table so that I can organize them and put the checklist on them if I I'm still missing some equipment, like lenses or something like that, so I'm just putting all the professional gears together in one place, so I have them ready to go in the bag. And before I put them in the bag, I, I just like to actually show you the gear that I'm taking with me. So, here we go. So, on this table is most of the gear that I'm packing with me. So, um, what we have is start with the sound, I have the wireless Rode Link and um, I'll, be, I'll be bringing my GoPro with me battery grips of course um, for my Canon DSLRs um, that's the lavalier mic video editing headsets um, then moving on over here we have the Canon 5D Mark III the Canon 70D and the Canon 5D Mark II for um, both a video and um, photography job. And um, I'll be bringing this small camera, it's the Pentax Q, it actually takes really, really, really good um, photos uh, for its size, and it will be a pretty much a good um, backup camera, well, not a backup camera, sorry, um, a behind the scene camera. So that's what I use that for, or just to get um, the shot of the location so I can plan the um, storyboard for the video. So um, if I don't want to have like at least a 30 megabyte um, picture file from these cameras up here, um, I can just go with a few megabytes on here because it's just going to be like behind the scene files and um, little evidence and... Uh, pretty much shots of locations as well that I'm going to be shooting as a reference to my storyboard like how I plan the shots so I don't need the size of let's say um, a wall okay, moving on over here here are a lot of Canon lenses starting from the 70-200 IS4 USM 24-70, um, 28-16-35, f4, 85mm, f1.2, um, L, Mark II my favorite lens, but it's also my least used lens. My second favorite lens, but it's my most used lens, this one. And then here is the 10 to 18 millimeter for the 70D, because I like shooting wide, so I need it, okay, um, I need it to um, pretty much get some sort of identical angle as the 5D Mark III if I'm using this lens. Um, here is my 50mm f1.8. I'm not a big fan of 50mm, so that's why I got the 1.8 version. And um, here is my Lumix lens. This is 25mm 1.7. Um, it's actually the camera that's being filmed. Well, that I'm using to film this video with. Lenses for my um, Pentax camera. And um, yeah body cabs and lens cabs for the Lumix camera that I'm using. I'm using the G7 to film right now. Over here I have um, uh, battery chargers. I have a lot more packed in the bag already, but here are just some. For the light, for my Lumix and uh, my Canon cameras, I have some more chargers in my bag and in Germany, like in my house in Germany. Um, AA battery chargers, but also chargers AAA over there. And it tells you like if it's full already or not, like 
your the indicators or um, the red sign would be like if the battery has got problem so I need replacements yeah moving on to tripods here um, I have my Zachla tripod it's a Zachla Ace that will be my main video tripod moving on over here um, here I have some more boring equipment but I need it so let's start up here. I have the um, rain protection for my camera in case I'm shooting in the rain. Um, batteries for my 600 LED light panel. So there are 600 LEDs in there. Diffuser or filter um, for my LED. Here I have remotes. Um, one is for my 5D series, so the full frame, and one is for the, um, the 70D. Here um, are my flashes. I don't. I'm not a big fan of using flash, but I have two um, Canon 430X Mark II flashes. I think that's the model. Um, yeah, and that's the uh, the Joby Gorilla Pod in case I want to do some um, behind the scenes stuff, so I can just match it on somewhere. Here's my travel photography tripod. This tripod like literally fits into my bag, my backpack, my luggage anywhere. So it's such a nice. Um, travel tripod. I take it along with me simply because it's small. So um, I have another photography tripod but I think I'll be doing more filmmaking than photography on this particular job so I'm only bringing this small and light tripod with me. My loop for the LCD from the 5D Mark III. My um, LED light, the 300 um, LED panel. There are 300 LEDs in there. The filters, or if some people call it the diffuser for the LED, my um, Zoom H1 um, sound recorder, uh, reflector. This is my monopod to put um, my shotgun mic up there and to link it up with the uh, um, XLR um, cable to my H4N recorder, another remote, another. Um, converter cable for the camera in case my remote fails. Um, here's my shotgun mic. It's the NG, NTG2 shotgun mic from Rode. Yeah, it's still packed in there. And um, the reason I'm bringing the H1 with me is just to, is just to um, get extra sound in case this one fails or if the battery is out. I can just use this one because this one consumes way less batteries. And I like because um, I don't always need the sound from the mic up here or the mic up here because I mostly shoot with my um, external microphones. Uh, I don't really need the quality of this, but. Um, the internal amplifiers are actually really, really similar. Just that it's a tad better on here. But obviously this is a lot more durable. Yeah. It's pretty much my gear that I'm bringing with me. Oh wait, um, I forgot one more thing. So if we go here, um, I'm also bringing this uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch Retina because I need to edit, like, if I need to edit my video or take a look at some footage on a big screen just to check if everything is okay, then this is a great um, workhorse for me. My lens pen, my iPhone to take a look at the images, like wireless, wirelessly um, control the camera. Um, my cables, well I have a lot more cables in my bag, extra battery for um, my GoPro, well I have a lot more extra batteries in my camera bag but I don't think you want to see that um, because it's just, I don't know, batteries isn't as beautiful as let's say looking at cameras. So yeah, otherwise um, my Dutch phone is still charging, my phone that I'll be using in Germany is still charging, but yeah that's it, um, that's is. Um, pretty much all my uh, gear that I'll be taking to this trip. Oh, by the way, this pouch is actually for my headphone. And there's my, um, well, my headset. There's the cable for the headset inside that pouch. Um, yeah. 
Um, I hope this video was helpful at some point. I mean, um, I don't have a dedicated video camera for my video job because I just use my DSLRs for my video job. Um, sure, there's something like the Sony A7S, a, a Sony A7R Mark II and everything, but um, to be honest, these cameras are still fine for what I do. They're actually perfect. I don't need um, battery yet, and plus, I don't like working with um, Metabone adapters, well, adapters in, in general, in front of um, cameras. I still prefer the Canon native len lenses on there, and um, the way Canon focus, like, the color tone, the color protection, things like that. But everyone has their own preference, so, yeah. Um, big fan of Canon but also a big fan of Nikon and Sony so I have nothing against their product. I started off with Nikon actually and then later switched to Canon because uh, I like their images more. All the color, the file, everything so yeah. And thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.